In example 3, the table below provides information on the number of zombie movies released in different years. Can we support the claim that on average the number of zombie movies released per year is less than 32? So I'm going to leave it to you to verify, but the Shapiro-Wilk test would give you a p-value of less than 0 0.0001, meaning the conditions are not met to test a claim about a mean. So we test a claim about a median. We've gone through a few examples of those. So you'll want to make sure that you understand the process for verifying that, conducting the test, and reaching that conclusion. But I'm going to leave that for you to work on. So specifically in this case, since we're testing a median, we'll test the hypotheses that our median is equal to 32 versus the alternative that our median is less than 32. So we're testing a claim about medians, which means, again, we'll use the sign test, select our data set, and then set up our hypotheses, which in this case, the median should be equal to 32. The alternative statement is that it's less than 32. And click Compute to get a p-value of 0 0.1509. So the p-value is 0 0.1509, which is greater than our value for alpha, which in this case is 0 0.1. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that m equals 32. There is not sufficient evidence to discredit the original assumption that the average number of zombie movies released each year is 32, or that on average 32 zombie movies are released each year. So in this case, the claim is not supported. In example four, we have information on percentage of people who believe the police in their country do a good job of controlling crime. So using a significance level of 0.05, we want to test the claim that on average, less than 75% of people believe police in their country do a good job of controlling crime. So again, I'm going to leave it to you to verify this, but the Shapiro-Wilk test should give you a p-value of 0 0.7615 meaning the conditions are met to test means. So specifically, we'll test the hypotheses that H0, our null hypothesis, is mu equals 75, and our alternative hypothesis that mu is something less than 75. So since we're testing a claim about means in this case, we'll select t stats, one sample with data. Our null hypothesis is that the mean should be equal to 75, the alternative that should be less. Compute, and we get a p-value of 0 0.025. So our p-value is 0 0.025, which is less than, our, less than or equal to our value for alpha, which in this case is 0 0.05. So we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that mu equals 75. So in this case, we're saying there is sufficient evidence to conclude that, on average,
less than 75% of people believe police in their country do a good job of controlling crime. The claim is supported. In our last example, we have information of the number of alcohol-related fatalities in car crashes per year. We want to test the claim that on average less than 17,000 alcohol-related fatalities occur each year. So again, the Shapiro-Wilk test will give us a p-value of 0 0.0287, meaning the conditions are not met to test means. So we test a median. So again, make sure you can complete that process, understand how you would arrive at that conclusion. Specifically, we'll test the hypotheses. that M is equal to 17,000, and the alternative hypothesis that M is something less than 17,000. So since we're testing a claim about medians, we again use the sign test. Click Compute to get our p-value in this case of 0 0.377, which is greater than our value for alpha, which in this case is 0 0.05. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that m equals 17,000. So we're saying there is not sufficient evidence to discredit the original assumption that on average 17,000 alcohol related fatalities occur each year. So in this case the claim is not supported. 